Hi guys, so this is Are They Moving Towards You? We're going to do a pick a deck. Uh, da, 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 um, deck one, deck two. Pick a deck. Hey baby. Hey dog looking at me. Deck one, deck two. Okay. Deck one, let's see what's going on. Is the person, the people that picked deck number one, are they moving towards them? Are they moving towards you? out the readings today um, because I have quite a busy week and I've got a few private readings that I need to do and so I thought I'd do your collective ones this morning and then I can release them as the weekend goes by. want two more. Just heard really clearly two more. All those two more. There is a lot of fighting in these cards. There's a lot of passion, a hell of a lot of passion going on in these cards. It's a really passionate relationship. You've got the nine of wands, the eight of wands and the page of wands. So Eight and nine of wands. We'll go from the nine to the eight. We'll go backwards. Nine of wands is about um, reaching the end of a fight, going to the end of a situation. Um, so with regards to them moving towards you, the answer would be, yeah, they are coming. They are coming. You're going from the eight to the nine. The eight is about things starting to move. It's going now. Movement towards you. Things happening. Nine is about coming back to fight for you. Um, with the page of ones as well, this is them trying to be starting a fresh situation, tossing the coin. They're going to come in slow and steady, easy does it. Um, they've got the king of swords as well, getting ready to fight, using logic rather than their emotions. A lot of them are going to go into hunter mode if you play your cards right. You've also got the king of cups, loads of court cards, king of cups. This is about them being stable with their emotions, they know how they feel about you, they know what they want. Um, sitting with loads of rocky waters, which are rocky emotions for you, not sure how they are going to get you back, um, but there will be movement in the next couple of weeks roughly definitely movement from june um karma they're realizing that with you walk with the situation kind of coming to and karma is coming to play don't think don't go to their level let the karma job let the karma job let the universe do its job for you karma karma is there for you and um, temperance period of no contact but it is coming it is coming with the star card as well it's coming um, you've also got the fountain. This is about um, infinity. This is a spiritual relationship, possible twin flame relationship, um, possible strong, divinely intuitive soulmate relationship. You're going through. Oh, these are all turned around. Two cards are turned around. This is for you. You are going through a period of transformation. You haven't had a choice in the matter. Death card. You haven't had a choice in the situation. You've just had to make the best of it. A situation has ended really dramatically that you weren't expecting and now you're trying to find yourself finding balance and you're going through this period of transformation at the moment you are the butterfly in the chrysalis yet to come out it's going to happen though you will start to find yourself watch that video i did about learning to love yourself when you're heartbroken that'll give you loads of little tips and tricks of the trade um that i've learned along the way At the moment, what's happening is they are in fear. 
their fears are magnified, they're thinking the absolute worst, they're thinking there is absolutely no way can work or work, make it work. This is often the shadow side of the lover's card, the darker energies. Um, look at the right one, male, female energies here. Remember, the cards are never gender specific, but with these two energies, this is your relationship. Um, you could be male, male, female, female, male, female, or female, male, you know. Um, all possibilities really you could you could be all, not even them you could be something you could be different you could be another person <laughs> that makes sense um so yeah male female energies dark side of the lovers the shadows are there and you're going to be working through that it's gonna it's gonna get easier with the steps going upwards getting smaller it's gonna get easier um you both got to work at your situation individually at the moment completely work at your situation individually remember there is a lot of passion in this relationship which means that it's temperamental as well with the hurricane tornado bang explosion temperamentalness and um, if people have gone away for the time being they will return to you they're not ready to do it just yet two of ones it's in their thought process though they are looking to the future trying to work out what they want and they don't want to lose you they know they don't want to lose you, so they're going to have to do something pretty soon, which is why I'm feeling that it'll be towards June. Ten of Cups, this is them when they're back. This is you working towards your goals. Again, you'll be doing it together this time, though, with the support in the middle of the two people, both of you working together, starting with all the crap that you've gone through and working your way up to enlightenment, getting the future together, Ace of Swords, new beginnings. Um, also hearing Lay Your Weapons Down. Four of one celebration that's when they come back you're going to be running around jumping over the moon eight of cups that's them walking away they've walked away for the time being but you've also got the wheel of fortune here it's going to turn in your direction it's going to come back let me see what else oh, let's do some clarifying cards uh, let's do some clarifying cards is it picked deck number one? Can I have some clarifying cards about if there's movement? Rigid. Rigid movement towards you. Possible that they are checking up on you through other people rather than going directly through your social media accounts. Um, possible that they're asking your friends how you are and what you're up to. Are there other people? Um, get me head right then right right it sounded like i was going to bristle then um are they moving towards you can you tell me people have picked up one casting clarifying cards about their movement place there's a person they're thinking about moving towards them person they're thinking about moving towards them I just saw this card that's sitting at the top of the deck and the deck I just used and it was spinning to it was sat looking towards me. Um so I pulled it and it's one of the cards that's in this pile as well. Yeah, and let's just put a couple more. Okay, thank you. Okay, so what's happening again? There is love, there is love there, but like the devil, you have the two moon cards working through the shadows of the fears have been completely illuminated. Everything's been shown up for what the situation really is. Um, and you both, both of you are so frightened about what's happening, but there's love in between you both. There's love in between you both. The moon is the feminine energy, so working through the shadows, mainly most of you um, watching will be the female energy. Working through the shadows, working through the darkness, the trees, the, you see each are between the two stable, stable platforms and the moon's down the centre. Um, you're not quite ready to reach that coming together, that union, that being together, them coming back, but there will be movement once these shadows start being um, laid to rest. You've got moons and loads of these cards. Um, you've got the three of pentacles with this card. This is you, them trying to work everything out, working, trying to make movement towards you, but a massive block in the way. Again, they've got to work through the shadows. Steps going upwards, again, working, working, working to reach you at the top, the divine feminine. Nine of wands fighting, 
lots of fighting, um, fighting for you. So there will be movement towards you. They are coming back, um, but you need to take this as it comes. They need to take it as it comes. Um, there is heart-centered energy. They aren't going to want to talk about feelings by the lack of blue. There is a little bit of blue in that card as you can see, which is them knowing that they want to come back but don't quite know how to go about it. That isn't yet, though that is coming. They want to get themselves more stable before they think about coming back to you. They want to um, know what they're doing and know what they're going to say before they make that absolute move towards you. Um, but they, you are their shining light and they will be drawn to you. They will come to you. Um, in that strong stable position in their personal power but they have to take this time out now to work through it at the moment they're just feeling like there's a massive block to get to you and they can't quite reach you so what you need to do oh let me do this one as well again two sides the side that they're showing everyone and what's actually happening on the inside of them so you've got to just be in allowance with this okay know that this is happening um if they're like, if you're seeing loads of pictures of them on social media going out, etc, etc, you're doing exactly the same as them. The inside is absolutely destroyed. It's chaotic. But you are in this period of transformation where you're going to become the butterfly. Your victory is set to match. Yes, some more clarifying cards, please. Your victory is set. Yeah, your victory is there. So there will be movement, but not yet near movement manifest it if you want to speed up the process watch that manifesting video and um, i've done it'll help speed it up this is them coming back towards you and the seven of wands um fighting this is the situation you've got the light in the middle again you are the guiding light fire sun masculine energy they've got to work through all of this first they've got to work through these battles for this to happen um it is a card of getting ready to fight ready getting ready to go for it but they're not ready to do it just that but it is coming it's coming Let's have a couple more clarifying cards, please. Where is the quick deck one? Yeah, it's like that gestation period at the moment for you. Um, for you, death card, all right? It's the end of a situation, which is going to be a blessing in the long run because your relationship could not carry on the way it was, death card. Um, but in this time while you're waiting for them, not waiting, getting on with everything, you need to focus on yourself, um, focus on protecting yourself, like getting all your emotions back in check. So, like, watch that video on self-love as well. Loads of tips in there to help with the heartache and the pain. This is you gathering your personal power, gathering your strength. And because when they come back, they are going to be... Where's that card? Where's that card I'm after? Why can you never find a card when you need it? Oh, no. It's all right. Anyway, it's pentacles and wands. Um, your two energies um, they're going to have to merge in the middle but it's not yet but there will be movement in the next few weeks they will start putting their thoughts into action in the next few weeks so just keep balanced with it all know that this is a, there's a bigger purpose to all of this it's a divinely guided relationship so there's more going on the meets the eye and you've got the period of transformation and you becoming the butterfly it's just that gestation period the universe needs to put things into perspective for it to work out in the long run that's step one Okay, um, deck one, if you um, remember it's a collective reading, what I've just done. So if you want to know about your personal circumstance more, drop me an email at mysticlovetarot at gmail.com and we'll work through it. What did I say for deck two? This one, deck two. Deck two, uh, 13.50. Okay, can I have some cards for those that fit deck two if there is movement from their person towards them? Is their movement from their person towards them? Okay. First one that people pick deck to is the person they're thinking about moving towards them. Temperance cards love you lot. Hand slip. 
Temperance is always, to me, a period of no contact when I'm doing these love readings. It's normally about balance and things like that, but it's staying put, really. Staying stationary, not doing anything, not wanting to look at things. It's a movement towards them. So what's happening at the moment is there isn't anything going on just yet. You are in this period of no contact, no communication. What's happening at the moment is they're focused, they are thinking of you. They've kind of had to walk away from the situation because it's all got a bit too much. Um, they can't cope with all your emotions. They're struggling really, really hard with the emotional side of things. They're not ready for a full-on committed relationship. They can't cope with all the energy that you've put on them. Um, not your fault, not at all, but they've done a, they've gone into run mode, they've gone into runner mode, um, they're frightened to death of everything that's happening. They're starting to focus on themselves a little bit more um, because you're doing the work, they're starting to do the work. This is them going, starting to plan their next adventures. Um, they are feeling quite alone, um, which is their own doing, but they are starting to feel, they are feeling quite alone from the situation, feeling quite sad. Um, but ready to, to start trying to move forward. That's what they're trying to do. Um, however, the memories of you are hitting them. And these are positive memories. They've turned the negative memories into positive ones. And Judgment Day is coming. That isn't here yet. Judgment Day is when they're going to have to make a decision or whether they move forward and back to you or if they stay put. And at the moment, they're not doing anything. Um, they will, though. They will. Uh, they are going to just start trying to see what work things through. They're trying to process it. Then they're not technically processing anything at the moment. They're just doing nothing other than focusing on themselves, which is good because once they start focusing on themselves, they can start focusing. Once they've worked out where they want to be, there's that opening of space for them to kind of come back to you if that's what you want. You need to work on it. You need to manifest it. Um, they weren't happy, you weren't happy in the situation, all the cups were spilled, the emotions were everywhere, lots of tension, lots of heartbreak. Um, you're never meant to hurt each other. But because it's such a passionate relationship, that is what's going on. Um, what you need to do at the moment is take a leap of faith, focus on yourself. Um, there's new adventures that are coming. But when you're ready for them, they're not ready yet. New adventures are coming. And they will move back towards you when they feel ready. And it's not yet. It's not yet. But they will. They will. Once they've worked through this fear of um, being stationary, They'll start doing that. You need to stand firm in your power. Be the powerful person that you are. Be that attention to draw them back to you. Um, there's possible fair parties involved also. However, you have the song card. They are going to come round. It is going to. It is going to move towards you. And um, they are going to move back towards you. But it isn't a yet. Sun is also the masculine card. The masculine energies. clarifying cards, movement towards those, so we that number two, and they're going to, the person they're thinking of going to make movement towards them. Can you hear that noise? You can normally hear the birds dead loudly from my window. Okay, so again, possible third party involvement within this relationship which has thrown you completely um, or it's just been a situation where there's been three people and it's ended up badly or it's um, there are more people involved within the situation. How are you going to get this person back is standing firm in your independence and in your power. Don't be needy, don't be clingy. You need to fight. They're gonna, they're gonna come back and they're gonna fight. They've, they've put a lot of work and effort into this. This is them coming back with your their offering, and they're gonna 
they've put a lot of effort into this relationship, too much effort to just kind of let it fall by the waistline. So it is, they will move towards you, but it isn't yet. At the moment, they're just trying to work everything out. They've gone and retreated, and they're trying to work through everything to work out what the best direction is for them to go in, whether it's best to walk away or whether it's best to have another go. And they don't want to think about it, so they're just doing nothing. Here's your emotions. Um, you've been quite emotional on them as well, which has pushed them further away. They haven't been able to cope with your... It sounds awful, doesn't it? They haven't been able to cope with how sad you've been, how emotional you've been. Um, they do like that side of you. They like to know how you feel. And if you devoided them of that, they wouldn't know how to cope with the situation because they want to hear from you how, how you feel. But they just... It's been a bit too much for them. It's been too much for them, which is where the towers come. Your tower has happened, their tower has happened. Everyone's jumped out of the building. Ah, tower moment. Yeah. Um, they've used their logic rather than their head, and that is why this relationship has ended. Um, used their logic rather than the heart. That's why part of the reason why the relationship has ended as well, because you've been very emotional on them, and they were trying to work logically. It from possible commitment issues as well. I'm also hearing there's a lot of escape issues going on through like alcohol, drugs, overeating, anything like that, gambling. Um, they're just doing a lot of escapism at the moment. They will come back to you though, but slow, slowly they will come back to you. You've got to just focus on yourself for a little while longer now. Yeah, two high priestesses. Two high priestesses getting your power. Judgment day is coming. Judgment day is coming. It's just not yet. Not yet. And even if they go away for a little while, they are going to come back. They are going to come back to you. Let's see if there's anything else that cards want to tell you. Is there anything else? Yeah. They've just gone away. They hurt you. They've gone away. You need to stand strong, find yourself again, get in your personal power and that will be the drawback. When they see that you aren't just sitting there waiting for them, they'll panic and they'll be like, what are they doing? Where are they? What's going on? Why haven't I heard anything? Why aren't they texting me? That will panic them and that's when they'll start making movement towards you. But until that point, they're just not going to do anything. So look after yourselves, focus on you. Watch that um, learning to love yourself video that will guide you and help you along the way. Um, and that's it. I've joined Instagram, so if you want to find me, search for mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. No, don't do that. If I've joined Instagram, so if you want to find me, just search for Mystic Love Tarot. And if you want a personal reading, remember all these readings are for the collective, so it works with the majority energy of you all. So just take what resonates with you. Um, if you want a personal reading, we can look at your situation individually. Email mistatlovetarot at gmail.com. I've put a cu couple of testimonials on um, from the readings that I've done on Instagram, but I've removed names, etc. because of privacy, data protection, etc. All right, guys, be good. Take care. Have a good weekend. Bye.